Food is coming in from the national capital where government sources have given a statement on electoral bonds. Now, according to the government sources on electoral bonds, government plans no review petitions. This is a big breaking coming in. Government has planned no review petitions on electoral bonds row. Now, but uh, PIL can be filed by anyone and that the aggrieved parties can always go to the court. Now, government feels it will bring the days of black money donors into elections to an end. So these are the latest details that we've been getting in. Government has revealed to the sources of CNN News 18 that they plan to not review pleas uh, relevant and pertinent to the electoral bond scheme. So these are the latest inputs that we are getting in. However, on the other note, uh, PIL can be filed by anyone and the aggrieved parties uh, and can always uh, go to the court. Now, government feels it will bring the days of black money donors into elections come to an end. So these are the latest inputs that we've been getting in. PIL can be filed by any parties. However, there shall be no review petitions on electoral bond schemes. So these are the latest inputs that we've been getting in. Uh, these latest inputs are coming from uh, government sources who have uh, given a statement on electoral bonds that government plans no review petitions but a PLI can be filed by anyone and the aggrieved parties can always go to the court. Now joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Pallavi. A very good morning Pallavi. No review petitions. Does this really mean that the government won't contest any future court challenges to the electoral bonds, bond schemes? See, the first of all is that there was an option of coming out with an ordinance, but since the House has been prorogued, that option is completely ruled out. But what we have been told by our sources is very clearly that there is no peer review petition which the government plans to file. What they are saying, of course, is that there are two ways that there can be a review. One, and PIL is filed by any person. And second, the aggrieved donors, you know, this actually contradicts the banking laws and also the main idea behind which the electoral boards that come up that you can give money uh, uh, for as a political donation, but your identity is not going to be revealed because that's usually how the banking laws goes. Your transactions are not made public. This could be a compromise with that because now the unused money goes back. That's what also the verdict said from the Supreme Court. And this could be a problem area. So there's always a possibility that one of the aggrieved donors can approach the Supreme Court saying this is a violation of my rights. And then the court decides the review or whatever the case may be. But what is the bigger concern within the government is that electoral bonds actually was brought in with the idea that there is a transparency, that black money can be accounted for. No one uses political donations as an escape route to make black money. That is something which can be compromised. And this is something which affects not just the BJP, but every political party. And it was an attempt which was being made to clean up the electoral system. Right, Pallavi, help us also understand the impact and concerns, especially related to the no review petition. How will the lack of transparency due to anonymity hinder the investigations into pot potential misuse of electoral bonds or the schemes? Well, see, the electoral bond that I just pointed out, Kuhina, was brought in with the idea that, you know, you are going to donate money to the mm. political parties. You also get an income tax uh, rebate. But more than that, there is an account which is kept about you know, who's giving which money. So that's going to be a route to in order to ensure that every transaction is actually white money. What the worry now is that with electoral bonds having gone away, the Supreme Court having made that verdict, people will still make donations to political parties because after all, elections are around the corner. But there will be no accounts. Political parties will now not be able to or not even need to give those kind of accounts. And if I'm donating money to you, there's no way of knowing whether this is white money which is being given as a donation or black money. Right, Pallavi, thank you so much for bringing in all those details. We'll come, keep coming back to this story and track the updates.